have you noticed that when money's short, it's like it's really short. Like you'll, you're thinking there's never going to be enough. And when you're working at changing that, you finally go, okay, I can do this. I'm going to have enough. I'm going to have more money than month rather than more month than money. It's a really slow, slow journey to get some momentum to shift it from too short to having enough. So, Kelly, it's interesting because we're just back to have a little more conversation on the inside track, and we appreciate that we continue to be able to move forward together, which is really, really cool. And now we want to talk about those ways, and we'll go three again, because I think three seems to be a nice, easy way to remember things. Like, mm -hmm. don't you? Like, it is often easier to remember things in threes or ones <laughs> or even twos, but when we start getting five, six, or seven, it seems to be a lot. So the three ways that we could make our house or other real estate that we have mm -hmm. a really helpful tool in creating more wealth and growing our wealth. What are those three ways that we can do that? So what we're seeing a lot of right now is that being able to use a mortgage as a tool and not necessarily a product, right? So a mortgage can be good debt. It doesn't have to be a negative debt. So um, looking at repositioning how we're structuring our mortgage is huge. When you look at the opportunities, maybe borrowing at 3%, how you could fill up the other buckets, mm. right? So maybe not necessarily, and Canadians are great. They, they want to pay their mortgage as fast as possible. And there's a stigma to having a mortgage back when interest rates were 18% previous generations, right? right. So well, that was my generation. Right? Who's kidding? Who, Kelly? <laughs> so, but the, it, it was pay the mortgage, burn the deed. That was, you know, yeah. that was the goal. But looking at interest rates, there's no better place to borrow from. Like 3% is, is so incredibly low that we can utilize the other ways to maximize. So if you're doing, if you have a plan, right, and you're able to say, okay, let's set this mortgage at this pace and be able to fill the other, the RESPs, the vacation right? Or your investments, right? TFSAs, buying another property to build wealth, right? Which is, is what we try to teach people. So we when you're tried, we do, we do. <laughs> let's, uh, let's be clear. Let, let's be, you like, know, our goal is to help and your goal. And that's why we partner on these shows so often and invite you as a guest on the inside track, because there is so much valuable insight because you've done it right. Mm -hmm. And you've done it wrong. And you've helped thousands of people do it right. Absolutely. As have we. Right. All three of those things. Mm -hmm. Right, wrong, and helped thousands of people get it right. right. So as you're planning, I just want to stop real quick because RESPs may not be something everybody's familiar with. Mm -hmm. TFFSAs may not be something everybody's familiar That's with. True. So what are those things? Or RES, R, RSPs, what, what does all that mean? When we say other buckets, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, so other buckets would just be uh, RESPs is a, a great means to help fund your child's education, right, in the future. And we've got tax-free savings accounts, which is the only thing that we're allowed to invest in right now, mm -hmm. that, that you can grow your funds within a tax-free savings account and then be able to take it out later and not be taxed on it, right? Mm -hmm. So um, RRSPs, which trigger tax refunds. So every person has a different plan, their income, their retirement, et cetera. So, but we want to use the mortgage as a tool, right? We want to make sure that it's being able to fund all of those other things so that retirement looks different and your taxes look different. Everything right. looks different 25, 30, 40 years from now, right? Right. Well, and that's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. And, and being able to take advantage of, of the low interest rates today to do it. But if you're not following the plan, then again, you can end up then we go back then to the points that we talked the, right. about previously, right. which is using our house really in a horrible way right. to, to hurt ourselves. Right, exactly. Rather than help ourselves. Exactly. So number two. So the second one would be being able to borrow to buy other investment property or a property for potentially a family member. Maybe your kids are going to university and, and they want to get a, a house and have their friends move in and pay rent, which is very popular right now. And very wise. Very wise, very yeah. wise. Have the mortgage paid and, 
and have somebody that you know living in the property that can help take care of it. So family members, uh, whether it be a parent, that, that seems to be um, also something we're doing quite frequently now. We are too, yeah. Yeah. Um, so when you, when you buy an investment property, then you're, you're, you're borrowing money from the bank, which is, which is good, and then you're, you're getting somebody else to help cover that debt and pay for it. So it's not really coming out of your pocket. It's coming well, out of somebody else's right, not to really, build the it's wealth. It's not at all. Right. So right? Is, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's being called paid. brilliant. It's brilliant. Right. There's yeah. no other way to accumulate wealth that quickly. And I've looked at every opportunity. Right? Consistently, consistently. Again and again and again, provided mm -hmm. you do it right. Right. And that's why we have specialized and you've specialized in helping people grow well through real estate mm -hmm. in the right way, following really kind of strict protocol, mm -hmm. although they're very simple. Mm -hmm. There is nothing difficult about it. No. It's just it's very systematic and very consistently doing little tiny things over time mm -hmm. and really using, as we often say, opium, mm -hmm. other people's Those money, money my OPM. Yeah. Um, just using that to grow your own wealth and then letting somebody else pay for your real estate. Absolutely. And you can and literally double your net wealth, double your net worth overnight, right? Just by accumulating that one asset by using other people's money. Yeah. And we can also show you how to make your mortgage tax deductible. Which wouldn't is that, cool. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. And tax deducting your mortgage interest. Yeah. Right? Which is brilliant. Yeah. Because which is something that we've done, that you've done, and yeah. so certainly that is part of that using the money in your house yeah. to be able, the equity, mm -hmm. to be able to use it for investment properties. Absolutely. And then number three. So when you're, you're, you have accumulated that high interest debt, yeah. right, and or you're trying to service something, it's being able to correct, right? It's using it as a correction. So. We, we have lived beyond our means. Circumstances have changed. Maybe um, we've had an illness. Maybe right. a family member's needed extreme help, and we just knew that it was the right thing to do, even if it meant we were... Job loss. Job loss, you know. right. So there are reasons mm -hmm. that we can sometimes get ourselves in, and maybe it's just a pattern of behavior, and now we're saying... Enough. 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 We're done. Like, yeah. really, we're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when we're like done with that or the situation that was very difficult is done, mm -hmm. then using the equity in our house may be actually incredibly wise. Yeah. So we can pay a lower interest rate, we change our habits and our behaviors, mm -hmm. and we create a whole new structure. Absolutely. So as long as, there, again, as long as there's a plan behind it, then it makes sense to reorganize. I like to talk about reorganizing, restructuring, right? Right. So making sure that this... We don't fall into this pattern again. Or if this is something that might continue, right, from circumstances over the next few years, how do we plan that there's enough there, right, that it doesn't affect you or this is just a quick band-aid or a quick short term? We want to make sure that we're planning for the worst case scenario, right, especially right. when it comes to job loss or, or illness yeah. or things like that, maybe having to take time to take care of family, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so if this has created a little bit of, like, hey, I want to know more, mm -hmm. you can certainly reach out to Kelly and Kelly will coach you, help you, as will Ken, as will I, as will the whole Decker team, because it's what we've been doing for decades. Mm -hmm. Well, three decades for us, and your mom's been in the industry for three decades. Yeah. You've been in the industry for two decades. Yeah. And so we talk in decades. So we should say over 20 years, over 30 years, because that sounds like a lot longer. Because. <laughs> Except it's really the same thing. And then there's over 367 episodes on the inside track that you can find on YouTube, which will also give you more details to be able to decipher some of this stuff so that you can make incredibly wise decisions continuing to move forward. And we love that we kind of often have been able to partner with you, partner together to move you where you want to go. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.